What's going on, everybody? Hope you're having an amazing day today. My name is Steve. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I am joined again by my wife, Lindsay, yeah. and we are excited to check out something that we recently heard about, but we had no idea that this existed, and that is Cadbury World in Birmingham. Now, this is amazing. Now, I don't know what to expect here, but just the fact they have something called Cadbury World yeah, is incredible. Yeah, we love <laughs> the Cadbury chocolate we've tried so far from the UK. The US version, eh, not as good as made by Hershey, so you can imagine it's not quite as good as the real Cadbury you get in the UK. Um, but first thing I think about when I hear Cadbury World is Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I have no idea if... I think it was... I think the original one wasn't at Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you're right, right. It. I think a Willy yeah. Wonka was his name, yeah. yeah. But um, I have no idea is what brand of chocolate inspired that Probably movie. Probably Cadbury. That's what I'm wondering. That's what it seems like. I think it might have been Cadbury. Let us know in the comments if that movie... Was it a novel before that? Yeah, it was a book. Okay, let us know if that book was originally inspired by Cadbury. But I know Cadbury is one of the most popular brands of chocolate and they have around the world. so many varieties. Like, I have no idea how many it's incredible. different types of chocolate. But we wanted to check this out. Lindsay was really excited to check this out when she found out about this. Yeah. Um, but like I said, we love Cadbury and... This is something we might want to check out when we actually get over to the might. UK. Okay. Okay. Well, when we're in the when we're in Birmingham area in England, we uh, definitely would would go by here probably. I think so, Sophia would really have fun too. Yeah, and so we kind of just want to you know explore this, see what's going on at Cadbury World, and so hopefully this video will help us uh, learn about what Cadbury World is like. So, yeah, let's see. you got anything you want to say before we get started? No. All right, let's go ahead and jump in and check out <laughs> Cadbury World. Welcome to today's adventure here at the world famous Cadbury World. Well, you can definitely tell it is opening weekend here at Cadbury World. Opening oh, weekend? Oh, There's a million wow. people here. We're in the overflow park. And oh, this is new. We've never been on a weekend before. No, exactly. What? Last time we did this, back oh, in the week there. School. So we're now getting to experience oh, oh. the proper crowds here. Are they on? Whoa. Walk through tour 20. Surely it didn't just open. No, because they said this the last time they did this something. So. Maybe, it's, maybe there's more than one. Or maybe this is the, maybe they're only in part of the year. Or maybe it's the opening weekend since school let out or who knows. All right. Well, but uh, either way, I like the fact that they have a small kid with them because. Uh, It'll get, yeah, we have I'm Sophia. Sure they'll focus on things that are kid right, friendly. Right. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh. We've got to do another Cadbury video soon. Yeah, we nearly do. All the chocolate. <laughs> so the first part of our chocolate journey is the Aztec jungle which teaches all about the cocoa beans and where the chocolate oh, that's cool. originates from. So it all starts with the cocoa bean and like where the best places to plant them. <laughs> and then you move into like the Aztec part. Wow. Yeah, because, they protected yeah. the cocoa bean. Okay, this is like a theme park. Well, I mean, I mean somewhat. Do they have I rides here? I, I, I'm not saying I don't rides, think... but it's just crazy. I didn't think it would be this detailed. Oh yeah, yeah. And, and then further on, it then talks about the first time of tasting chocolate. I did it! I think everyone eats the chocolate bar straight away. Oh my really god! Cool so it doesn't really come out on camera, but it's like a 3D Three, type of image, two, one, so it's cool to see. What is that? We have now finished with the history of the chocolates for now. We're now coming to the factory part. Now they're teaching us how to make this? cream eggs. Oh, this cream is eggs. what I would like. The cream eggs, buttons, roses, Easter eggs. Like seeing how things are made. Yeah. And the audio is really weird. It's like like right above you. It feels like someone's talking like Immersive. right behind me. <laughs> it's got chocolate in it. Wow. It's got a hot chocolate in it. Yeah. That's hot chocolate. <laughs> is it? Mm. So this is an actual place where they make Cadbury then? This zone's changed. Is this the actual factory itself? And this is a part of it? Beforehand it was just like, you, you got like a bit of a, a show and tell at the yeah, front about how to, to make, make it. Them, yeah. uh, but now we're going to go and write our names like we did last time. But oh, we're also cool. going to be tempering chocolate. <laughs> you all right there? <laughs> is she playing with a chocolate egg? Give us your name. <laughs> Oliver. Ready, here we go, Oliver. There's the chocolate. Mummy and son, pick them up. You ready? Pick them up. Here we go. Ready. Spread. 
spread like that. Always using more, but easy to clean, very durable, and that's your cover. Shock down. This that's what they use for ice cream all the time. Degrees, yeah. So hold the nice still, up and down. <laughs> You're all right there. It should be right. <laughs> Here we go. Up and down, bud. <laughs> you make it look so easy. Yeah. <laughs> no, I should get the next thing. <laughs> what's he making? Or what's he doing? Tempering chocolate? Oh. I don't know what that is. You got it, bro? Well, Can we sit to bring? I know, yeah. So, Jay so Pete want to just go in it. I was gonna say, I feel like she be. <laughs> nah, she would. She's well behaved, but she like she would want to. I think most kids would want to. Or take the bottle and just. <laughs> I would want to do that. I, mean. I know it seems like a waste. <laughs> I Jay. could not do it like yeah. Jay could. Yeah, Jay. I mean, fair play to you. Like, you, you got Amazing. some skills. So, Mechni. All come together. Oh, man, that looks good. He is. He's like making it thicker or something. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> got some skills. The stuff here. I don't really know what he's doing there. It looks good. Yes. Entertaining. Yeah. Like professionals. Is, but professionals. Chocolate. What? Oh, look. Like chocolate. <laughs> they do. Mm. Chocolate. <laughs> chocolate well, spotted, buddy. well, yeah, that's that one fun. of the most interactive parts here. It is. But it, it is such a good thing to do, isn't it? It's just so fun. Just watch your sleeves. Yeah. Luckily, we've done all right this time, but I can yeah. imagine it getting very messy. I think messy. we have. We've done all right. We're good. Sticky hands, though, now. Let's go wash them. <laughs> so after the have a go section, there is like a green screen bit where you can have your picture taken, and then you end up with pictures oh, like goodness. that. That's cute. We're gonna give it a we're gonna give it a miss this time, aren't we? Yeah, we're going on kidnap right now. Yes, so this is the only ride that they have here at Cabri World. It's such a cute and ride. Okay, so these it's are a really ride. good ride. It's such a cute ride. Yeah. I've been looking forward to this. But this is one of my that and what we've just done. So was all this free? No, I pay? can't imagine. I'm guessing you gotta was, pay to go here. I don't know, but I'm guessing you do. Like when you first come in, maybe there's like a set price. I would guess this is just like a you know, just a small interest fee, I guess. It's not it's not like an amusement park, but it's it's very uh it's, it seems like something that would be fun to spend the day, especially if you have kids. Mm -hmm. I think this would be something kids would really be into, the playing with the chocolate, the yeah. they'd want to eat everything. Uh, but I think it'd be I think it's very um be very informative, you know, to show like, for example, Sophia loves chocolate and it'd be an interesting way to show her that mm, this is process. where it comes from. This mm. is how it's made. I, I love things like that. They can take kids, uh, you know, something they, the they just take for granted having and you can just kind of, you know, in a fun way teach them the how origination. How much work actually goes into right, it. Right, to and... get your little chocolate <laughs> yeah. bar, how much work actually went into yeah. it. Yeah. Two yeah. of the highlights, I think. For sure. Hello, back at Disney. <laughs> Cute times. 1905. Oh, man. Wow. Oh, that's cool, man. I like that. I don't know if this is something me, you know, as an adult would want to do by myself. But, it might be a little creepy. But this is something that... It's the cutest little ride. Yeah, I think kids would really love this. Different things, the cocoa beans. Yeah. It's cute. So it gives you like a, all little cocoa beans. There's Bob. Yeti the, you know, the, the mini, The mini egg guy. That might be my favourite one, that Yeti. Cadbury's Bunny. She's there as well. Cadbury's Bunny. My name is Alberto Humberto Sergio Gonzalez, Ramiro Alvaro Rafael Gabriel Ricardo Gustavo Arturo Javier Eduardo Carlos Smith. But you can call me Bob. Bob. So yeah, I'm Bob, Bob now, Bob. and then straight into the next bit, which is my personal favourite part. Oh yes, the chocolate tasting. Oh! Okay. You don't want to taste chocolate? I do want to taste chocolate. <laughs> right, no, you don't want to taste chocolate. For a second then. What kid wants to taste chocolate? <laughs> so you get given a pot with liquid chocolate and then a choice of two toppings. Oh, well, he's already chucking into his. I went for white chocolate double. Mm. used to have marshmallows. I'm pretty sad they've not got the marshmallows. Double white but chocolate. I'm going to mix it all up. Oh yeah. <laughs> Awesome. What are they making? <laughs> Shoes? Wait, what? Shoes? They're making chocolate shoes. They are. Why? Dude, they didn't. That is bizarre. Hold on. Do they sell chocolate shoes and like 
whatever like is this i wonder they, it's gotta be like a special i have learned and what well, we've learned that uh cadbury makes so much more more items varieties than we ever imagined mm -hmm. like here in the u.s you, you have literally have choices maybe? you have you have like you have the regular dairy milk chocolate you have the uh, chocolate with almonds fruit uh and nut. fruit and nut the caramello caramello mm -hmm. i think is that it that might i think that might be it i think there's like a black forest one now i'm not maybe. sure but um Either way, but on it's top of, like the chocolate bars, right? On top of the fact we only have the chocolate bars, we don't have the plain kind of the plain type. Um, oh, but we do have the eggs. Oh, like the Easter eggs come during and Easter and the holiday harvest. But let's be honest, again, but it's not, yeah, it's it's not real Cadbury, guys. It's, it's Hershey. It's it's. I will say the Cadbury, the U.S. Cadbury, is better than regular Hershey bars yeah, by a long for shot. Sure. But it's still not what we've tried in the U.K. by a long shot. I'm amazed that their hand painting this stuff. Yeah, I can't imagine they actually do this for the on a the, large scale. On a large like, scale. This is gotta be some special or maybe it's just for this this place and maybe they sell them in the gift shop or something mm -hmm. like that. Maybe. That's that's my guess. All right, so we're now in Advertising Avenue, which is where they do all the advertisement over the years for Cadbury's. What were Cadbury's buttons originally called? Leave it in the comments. Buttons? Yeah. I remember this one. Do you remember this one? He's not going to remember this one. <laughs> no. <laughs> Go on. That was one of my favourite ever Cadbury adverts. I remember this one. But I never remember this guy. No, oh, it's that. <laughs> nope. Surfing on a chocolate this guy. Advertisement Avenue over in Dunwith. And now we're in this like interactive area at the end, which oh, I really like. Beans. I love this. The screens so are cool. Fun. For kids, oh, it's absolutely for brilliant. Kids, for everyone. But for big kids. <laughs> and you know, that reminds me. A lot of people don't realize this. I, I, I did a little research a long time ago about the chocolate process mm -hmm. and i remember like they actually like the chocolate beans are very they like mold or something and they're covered with they're all covered with this like white looking white, goo like, yeah um it's Membrane really interesting or something. yeah they just mold it's, it's like they mold them what? or they allow them to mold or so i can't remember exactly the how that works yeah with, that? What, what i'm thinking of and and it was like mm -hmm. it was really interesting how that uh how that process i've been mm -hmm. up forever but i, I need I to look into that again I, find, together, I, yeah. I found that interesting that type of thing interesting the small kids oh cream eggs <laughs> Oh, it's, it's like a, a little game. <laughs> Get it out! So people would like that. Yeah. And it's time. We've played something like that before or something. Cadbury shop. <gasps> this could be the world's biggest, the world's oh my God. biggest Cadbury shop. <laughs> oh my, oh my goodness. Oh gosh. You would have to put like a like a monetary limit on me. <laughs> you can only spend 1,000 US dollars at the world's biggest Cadbury shop. Oh my gosh, they have everything. Just Dude, in this little- Look how big it is though, look at, look at that. I know. Oh, look at that's a mini eggs. Where? That's a mini egg section. Okay, that doesn't look like mini. I see the word mini know, eggs, but that was like a huge box of mini eggs. It was. <laughs> that is new, mini egg bar. Have you ever seen that? Oh. oh hey, we just got one of those. No. We did. Hot oh, come on. Pound 99. <laughs> <laughs> we got milk tray, dairy milk, oh bone milk, all the different types of Oh my milk. goodness. More bars. Cola. Do you like cola? Do like cola? Yeah, I like cola. Oh. Put them in the bag. Oh, I was telling him no cola ones. No. no. Oh awesome. my goodness, dude. <laughs> is this seriously the world's biggest Cadbury shop? It's gotta be. It's gotta be. Yeah. Yeah. But they sell the best one ever, the great. Or is some of this, is this Cadbury, does Cadbury own, oh, the is it, is it the, like yeah, is it the parent company of some of these? I don't know. Oh, it doesn't make sense why they would sell it otherwise. Yeah, if it's the Cadbury shop, I don't know. Hmm. Let us know in the comments, guys. Uh, is... Does this Cadbury all is the is it the parent company for like other sweet companies? I bet it is.
I would think, because Cadbury is huge. At this point, it's just like Pepsi Cola, you know. Look at those buying... prices, though. 95 pence each or three for two pounds. That's great. Yeah, that is. Like, especially like a kind of Here a. Here they're like two pounds each. Like, okay, and picture when you've gone to kind of like a, a gift shop sort of thing. This is not a gift shop, really. They might have gifts in there, but like this is a, it's the Cadbury shop. And it kind of, it's kind of like the gift shop version mm -hmm. of this, right? You understand what I'm saying? And imagine how much this stuff costs. Think about when we went to the Museum of Life and Science, yeah, for example. Yeah, it's marked up so big. Like, I'm talking about you get something that you would think would be $2, it'd be like $15 or something yeah, like that. that's crazy. So that's actually really good. That's good if I saw it in, like, the grocery store or something Granted, like that. Granted, that's not the Cadbury chocolate. But... Right, yeah, yeah. So this section here is all the handmade chocolate that they made upstairs. Oh, that's what they were doing. Uh, how much are they? How much are they? I don't know. I can't tell. And like those are the uh, right, I don't see it. Right up there. I can't tell what it says. Does that say nine ninety five? If it is, that was not bad. For handmade, a handmade chocolate shoe. Wow. Oh wait, hold on. That says something. I can't tell what. Cinderella this. shoe. Shoes that the lady was making upstairs. That is so cute. This is eight ninety five. Happy Valentine's not Day. At all, honestly. Dude, that is not bad. For a gift type item that's special to Right, me. that's pretty cool, man. Wow. That's like something you get someone for Valentine's Day. Like, mm. wow, that's cool. I wish I knew this. I bet you do. Different, different pens. Oh, pens. Pencils, rulers, rubbers. 99 pens. pens. Oh my goodness. Bottles, just fidget spinners of people's names on them. 399. <laughs> Every kid wants those. You ever notice that? Every kid wants a fidget spinner. I know, yeah. <laughs> Miss shapes. Offer of the week. Oh, Miss shapes. True way to test inflation. Bredos are 25p. It says. Or you can get 10 for 170, so 17p. What? Bring it down. 60 for nine pounds. So one thing is, it's definitely busier on a weekend. It is a hundred percent busier, and we picked a really late spot. We didn't pick till two thirty. Yes. Um, which meant that because of the busyness, we didn't get to do quite everything. We didn't get to do the Bourneville experience, and we yep. didn't get to do the playground. Yeah. So uh -huh. keep that in mind. I reckon it's probably a full day thing. So if you can get yeah. here early, I would definitely recommend yeah. to do it. Uh, Merlin has taken over the operations of here now, but as, as of yet, there hasn't been any impact in terms of annual pass or anything like that. No Who? discounts. What? But keep, keep posting. Oh, no. This is January 2023. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah, fingers crossed. Check it out. And we're, we're, we are hoping, aren't we, for something to come at some point in the future, but we, we know nothing about it but at the moment. It's just. What, what is that? And now it's down to the 4D cinema. Oh, the cinema. Uh, okay, we're now rushing down to the bottom bit next to the big factory that's here. This is Cadbury. Oh, oh wow. That's probably like the legit. Dude, topic. the first thing I see when I see that Cadbury factory sign and seeing this, it just reminds me of uh, I know. Charlie and Chocolate yeah, Factory. I know Doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, I know it's not, but I do wonder if that's where it's inspired I'm by. I'm sure it was. The novel has got to be uh, originally English, I would think. It is. Is it's it? You know that for Oh, is it? He was born in Wales, but I think he grew up in, in England. England somewhere. I really want to know because I know that <laughs> was the movie filmed in England. I know I that know. Charlie, the original, I think he had an English accent. I think most of them did, if I'm not mistaken. It's been a while since I saw that movie. Um, but in my head, I, I it seems like he had a English accent. I think it was an English movie, but I could be wrong. I don't know. That's just the vibe I get. That's so cool. I thought he would, they were done, so it looks like they're going to yeah, a different part so of the Cadbury good. experience. Because the 4D cinema is here. We joined, what time did we come Okay, in? this About is Cadbury. You can tell three, by the eventually. colors. Three by the time we got through the queue, yeah. Yeah, and it's now 20 past five. So, and this shuts in 10 minutes? Um, I think the last cinema one's 5.30. I don't know. I know the experience upstairs is fully short. Yeah. So, one thing to know as well, have your tickets ready? I didn't, that was a panic. I didn't have no my internet. tickets and the internet wasn't working. Oh, two of you, 3G. <laughs> you, so we have to do a bit works. of tether and we're all right. Then, <laughs> we, we got there. So. so this is the 4D experience and it's basically just seats that... Trust us. It's awesome. It's cool. Do not skip yeah, this. yeah, don't skip do it. It's, skip it's it. outside, it's down at the bottom near the play area, but it's well worth it. Have you ever been on one of these types of things? What is it? You put on, put on the glasses. Oh, it's 3D. 4D. 4D. Because it's 3D, but your seats are moving and stuff too. Uh, Right, that's it guys. That is our day here at Cadbury World. Over and done with. That was a super fun day, wasn't it? Yeah, lots of chocolate. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We want to know from you where you want to see us go next. All right, guys. This looks like a lot of fun. 
Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to. Go you know, I, I like I said, I don't think this is something I would go to as like if I was a single guy, no. right? Unless I was just really into <laughs> chocolate, chocolate that much. But this looks like a blast as a family experience. If you have kids, especially, um, this is somewhere we would definitely be interested in checking mm -hmm. out. It looks like I'm surprised because knowing that it isn't really a theme park or anything like that. You know, yeah. it got a ride, then you got the 4D thing, but it looks like it really takes the majority of the day. So it looks like this would be- an, There's a lot to it. I think this would be somewhere you could probably go and spend, you know, four, five hours well, easily. Well, and like you said, they didn't even go to some like barn and thing. And a playground. So it'd so. be interesting what that is, um, yeah. if that's something, you know, kind of interactive with something to do with chocolate, which I guess it probably is. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, looks fun. I'm glad we found this. Um, yeah. But like I said, guys, please let me know in the comments, is Cadbury what Willy Wonka is based on? I don't know. I just, it, for some reason, it just gives me that vibe. Cadbury seems just like the, you know, some people love Cadbury, some people love the most, and some people love other chocolate brands more in the UK. Mm -hmm. We've learned that in the comments section. Yeah. But no matter who you are, the majority of people do seem to enjoy like, like Cadbury. And Cadbury, when I think of chocolate brands, it really does seem like the 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 go to, the biggest like. Well, and it's just like I said, they have so many varieties. Like, right, they do. They have crazy. tons. I didn't even know. But when you think of like, if you're thinking of chocolate, and you need to think of a chocolate brand. Does Cad and Cadbury one that comes to your mind? Yeah. And I don't know why that is exactly, but it just is. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, even in America where Cadbury isn't as big as, the, say, as in the UK, um, if I was to think about chocolate, I would think of Cadbury so much earlier than I would Hershey. Hershey is not my thought when I think of Cad, when I think of chocolate, mm -hmm. you, you know? Yeah. You know, what was the guy's name? And in, in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, you had... You had Willy Wonka's chocolate, which was the one that everybody loved. And then you had his competitor guy. But I wonder if that's Hershey. Cadbury and Hershey fighting it out. I don't know. Cadbury wins. <laughs> Hands down. It does. Um, you know, you guys are lucky if you like chocolate. You're lucky that your Cadbury is not made by Hershey like we have it. Um, like we said in the past, though, what I will, I will give Hershey this. Hershey is great for us more. You yeah. can't like. But we've never tried a s'more with. But I just know the, the bitterness of her. Hershey has a yeah. I mean, I just think, but like, Cadbury, <laughs> when it comes to just chocolate, is so much better. It really yeah. is. And the surprising thing, I've heard a lot of people say um, they're fans of other chocolates more. And Galaxy's a big one. I but, feel like yeah. a lot of people like. I'm curious, is Cadbury still owned by Cadbury? Because for some reason, in my head, I've seen something said. I think about that. Um, was Cadbury bought out by another brand? I don't know. I know supposedly the recipe has changed a little Maybe bit. Maybe that's what I'm thinking so of. it's not quite as creamy, I think, as... How could it be creamy, I know. dude? This stuff is so <laughs> I creamy, guys. I, I don't know, man. Anyways, we're just talking, talking about chocolate. It's delicious. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, definitely a place we'd like to go to. Um, looks like a lot of fun if you have kids. Um, mm -hmm. So... Uh, you know, hopefully some of you guys that are watching that uh, may have never heard about this place but are near it may now, you know, be inspired to go see it. And if you've been there, please let us know the best things that we can't miss with Sophia when we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the yeah, best seriously. things to check out. Yeah. I think they did a great job with the uh, with the camera here and mm -hmm. filmed, you know, what needed to be filmed. I think yeah. this gave me a good good overview. So they did a really excellent job. Um, with with uh, filming the Cadbury tour yeah. here, a good walkthrough, you know. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please click that like button. Feel free to drop your comments or suggestions about this video or others. And don't forget to subscribe to continue to follow us on our journey to discover our British and Irish ancestry. Until next time, guys. Peace. Bye.